There's some really cool, interesting, and weird Pokemon out there, but considering there's over 900 of them, there's bound to be some more awesomer ones. I didn't keep up with all the new Pokemon, so I thought, yeah, I'll take a look, see what's going on. Every Pokemon you see here, I said, Wait, what? Huh? Sometimes it was, whoa. But I didn't say it out loud, I said it in my head, it was like, hmm. Starting with the reason I wanted to make this video, Tinkaton. Actually, the middle form. Tinka tough. Check this out. This Pokemon will attack groups of Ponyard and Bisharp, gathering metal from them in order to create a large and sturdy hammer. This Pokemon's literally making its hammer from other Pokemon's body parts. It reminds me of a Jew dude hanging out in a cave, wondering if a cave is made of his flesh or if he is made of cave. Some people say that Tinkaton's hammer was made from the Pokemon Corviknight, but I couldn't find that confirmation anywhere. Although Tinkaton does like to hit things with its hammer to hit Corviknight. Speaking of Corviknight, they eat Bunnelby and Steny. Steeny? It makes sense that some Pokemon eat or prey on other Pokemon, but it's just weird to think about. You usually think the Pokemons are, wow, they're all fun and friendly. And then there's like this thing that does stuff. I don't know. Annihilate is so freaking cool. I didn't know that Primeape had a regional variant. Dude, I want to do my hair like Annihilate. I'm actually going to go do my hair like Annihilate. Psh, psh, psh. Look, I did the best I could, but when I go back to the hairdresser, I'm going to show him a picture of Annihilate and said, I want to look like that. I like it. It's, it's cool. Annihilate is a ghost Pokemon that seemed to have died by anger. I think it like evolved when it died. In the game, it has to evolve by using Rage Fist 20 times. So they actually had to make it get angry. That's kind of sad, man. That's actually, that's kind of sad. Beware is a Pokemon you do not want to cuddle. Once it accepts you as a friend, it tries to show its affection with a hug. Letting it do that is dangerous. It could easily shatter your bones. I mean, at least he doesn't want to eat you, but now you can't be friends with the thing either because it's going to squeeze you too hard. Okay, Wiglet. I knew of this Pokemon already, but in case you didn't, I wanted to show you that it looks like a really funny looking Diglett. But it's not a Diglett. It's not a regional form like Annihilate and Primeape was. But I really laughed when I saw the evolution. Wug Trio. I don't know. I don't know why it made me laugh so much. It just that I feel like this is it must be a meme in the Pokemon making industry. Excuse me, sir. Any ideas of what Diglett should evolve into? How funny would it be if we put two more in the same hole? Even a Lolan Diglett is hilarious. All they do is give normal Diglett funky hair and then some rocker surf dude long blonde hair. We interrupt this message to say, join the Discord. We're friendly, we're lovely, we are PG-13 and we do not talk about totally weird stuff. Join the Sparkle Squad Discord. Would you eat Slowpoke Tail? If other Pokemon eat other Pokemon and humans eat Pokemon, I heard somewhere they grow back. By the way, this is the intermission. This is where you go into the comments and you just scroll and you're like, you, you, you comment something about Annihilate Pear. What you thought was fascinating. These are things you do. This is the intermission. You splock alike. Intermission over. Okay, here's a real wait. What? The waking, walking, wake? What? First of all, who named this Pokemon? Second, look at Raikou. Or should I say Raging Bolt? I'm not saying it's not cool. I'm just telling you that it's funny. Yeah, I know it looks like Suicune, but I guess it's not. I wonder what they're going to do to Entei. I guess if they're going to do all three, maybe a Sabertooth. And uh, actually, he is his saber too. I, whatever. I found most of these Pokemon just scrolling on the Pokedex website and clicking the surprise me button. It was really fun to look at new and old Pokemon again after not playing for a while. Last video, I said I wasn't excited about it, but I think it has to do with me getting spoiled by so many things. And for me, a spoiler is really anything. Don't tell me what color the Pokemon is. Don't tell me what shoes Link wears. I don't want to know the story. I just want to tell me if it's good. But when I found out about these Pokemon, I didn't feel spoiled. And I think it's because I found them out myself. It's just fun to discover on your own. Whoa! Screamtail? I don't know about you, but this Pokemon looks a lot like Voltorb. Circular shape. It's probably some kind of connection there. Aquanid is a Pokemon you really don't want to see, and it kind of sounds like it would live in Australia. It launches water bubbles with its legs and drowns its prey in those water bubbles. And the water bubbles go in the on the head. This Pokemon can then take its time to savor its meal. Bruh, this thing eats anything that it puts a bubble on. And it didn't say that it only ate Pokemon. L listen to this one. It does it to the trainers too. 
It does have a habit of storing things it values within the bubble, so maybe they're just trying to cuddle you like beware and then you get you get drowned. Imagine getting eaten by your own Pokemon. You see, to me, all these Pokemon are new, so it's surprising and exciting to, to learn about them. But in our Discord, you guys know a lot more than I do. So here's a bunch of honorable mentions of what you guys thought was totally rad. Crab Man. Hisisu in Sword Arc. Okay, that's probably one of the coolest looking. Skelly Ren with Mew, a Pokemon that can learn every move. Darth Raichu spit in Mewtwo facts. Looks like he'd be in Dragon Ball Z. Ghost with Deoxys. This Pokemon's from space and has multiple fighting forms. Any cool facts about Deoxys? It can clone itself infinitely. Okay, and uh, Artie really loves Snubble. Darth Rai comparing apples to Victinis. Matske with Electros. Pretty interesting facts you got there. And last but not least, holy... Okay, you pause if you need the encyclopedia on Arceus. He's the god of Pokemon, for real. Wait, is he a llama? Thanks for watching me be fascinated by Pokemon, and don't forget to subscribe! Whoa. I shouldn't have spun around so many times. <clears throat> Love you. Ciao.